The prospecting expires is good for the industry because we take a bad experience and we turn it into a good experience. So oftentimes these clients are frustrated and they're unhappy with their experience and we can come in with all of our expertise because we know what we're doing. It's not easy to call expires and we can give them our expertise and show them what we can do to sell their home and get the job done for them. My name is Lee Malik and this is my wife Wendy and we are from Davenport, Florida. My name is Kelly French. I'm a realtor and I serve Claremont and Davenport areas in Central Florida. Well, as our contract was coming up to um, the f full term of six months that we originally had planned, um, I actually went ahead and reached out to our realtor and I wanted to give her the heads up that looked this I just, I don't feel like uh, this is working. We're almost six months in um, and we're both exhausted and we're gonna take a break. So when their home was on the market and didn't sell for six months, there was a lot of disappointment and a lot of frustration. You know, they felt in their hearts that they were being led to, to do something bigger and this was the last thing that was holding them back. Within 24 hours of our house coming off the market, uh, that's when I got the first call. And uh, I think the first day we only got one call and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that realtors would know that your your house was off the market. When you start calling expireds, it's always initially scary. But when I first talked with the homeowner, Lee, um, he kind of laughed when I introduced myself and told him who I was and said that I was like the seventh or eighth realtor that he had talked with that morning. And he actually referenced that he felt like he was the hot girl in high school that just broke up with his boyfriend and not everyone was calling to date him. So he took it as a positive experience and kind of had a good chuckle about it. As the, the calls continued to come in, uh, it, we, it was a positive thing. We knew that um, it felt like other people saw potential in our, our listing, in our, in our house, and uh, as being a potential listing. Well, I knew I'd be able to help them because I had recently worked with other sellers in that neighborhood. I was familiar with the neighborhood, and I knew that if we priced it right, we would get multiple offers and ultimately get them more than what they were asking for to begin with. The reason why Kelly and a couple of other realtors stood out is they, they heard us. They, uh, they knew that we wanted to kind of take our time when they called us. They, they asked us why our house had expired. We told them and whether we were planning on putting it back on the market. And we said, no, you know, at this time, we don't want to put it on the market. When I followed up with them, um, they were very excited to hear from me because they were actually just getting ready to call me. The first time I spoke with Kelly, she was um, gave me kind of what I was looking for as um, the communication piece and to me and especially in uh, my line of work communication is uh, key and uh, she was um, very thorough in um, not only uh, kind of the, the numbers aspect but these are the things that um, you should be looking for to really set up um, and, and you're going to give it a second chance uh, to make it a, a quick second chance. So at the time of the listing appointment, I suggested that we list the price $5,000 less than what they had previously had it listed at. Um, my main reason for that was that the market had changed since the last time they listed it six months ago. Um, so I, we knew that it, we didn't want it to sit on the market month after month, and I knew by pricing it competitively at the price that I wanted it set at that they would get multiple offers and most likely go over asking anyway. We had put our house on the market on uh, Wednesday, and uh, by Friday we had our first offer, which uh, I thought was great. I did joke with Kelly that I was upset that it took twice as long as the previous uh, client that we knew about, but um, but yeah, <laughs> getting it done in 48 hours was pretty awesome. So. so with their listing prior to mine, they had received one offer throughout the entire six months that it had been on the market, and it was a low offer that they didn't accept. And after listing with me, we had above asking offers, multiple offers within 48 hours. Well, you know, to be completely honest, when we got the offer so quickly, um, it was like a weight was lifted off our shoulders, you know. It just felt free and free. All the work that we had put in there, it kind of validated it. It's like, yes, it, it, it sold it. And, just all the factors just needed to be right. And so it was 
freeing, it was excitement, it was just, but also disbelief. It's like, did this really happen so quickly after waiting so long, you know, with the previous listing for it to happen so quick? It was disbelief, but exciting disbelief. When homeowners are getting calls from agents like myself who are prospecting expireds, um, it's definitely good for them because the best agents are calling them and want to be able to help them fulfill their dreams. So they should be happy that the best agents are calling them, wanting to help them list their home and sell it for them. Well, and I think you know those those agents that kind of do reach out to, especially like in a situation that we were in, that our uh, listing ex you know uh, went out of contract, is it, it kind of gives you that option to know that you know that they're there for you. It's not you know it's not the end, and they go above and beyond to let you know because. Especially like for us, they don't. They know that we're like in a bad situation. We don't, don't want to deal with another agent. So just the fact that they were able to just kind of take that initiative to give us a phone call, not knowing how we felt about relisting it, kind of lets it lets us know it's like okay, well they're willing to do whatever it takes to sell our house. So when I first met Lee and Wendy, you know I really believed in what they were trying to do. So to be able to sit at the closing table with them and help them fulfill that dream is why I love doing real estate. The advice I give to the homeowner um, is to be open-minded and uh, if you uh, get calls, I know, I know everyone's different and sometimes you get calls and you're, you know, um, you might not want that much attention but be open-minded and really willing to uh, take that step.